Okay, well, it's with great trepidation that I'm going to sort of try to describe this patch uh, for my own benefit and also for the benefit of anyone who might be curious about how it works. So the core of this patch is marbles and maths, I would say. Uh, marbles, uh, yeah, marbles and maths, I think, are what you hear. Uh, you hear it in the pitch bends and in the sequencing. Uh, and then Logica and Quadigy are also involved in uh, breaking up the straight melodic passages, uh, controlling the gait in certain ways that uh, break up the continuity of, of certain melodic passages and such. So I haven't even described this to myself, uh, let alone describe it to you. But what I'm doing is I'm sending, um, these are your three gates, and so I'm sending one gate, uh, where am I sending that? That's the gate in for the uh, AR generator on the 2600. It's also the trigger for channel four on the maths. Um, so every time you get a trigger out of here, you get a sound out of the 2600, and you also trigger a, uh, a function from channel four of that of the math. So where is that function going? Uh, it's doing two things. One is it's sending at uh, end of whatever the back edge. I can't remember. This is not end of end of rise. This is um, if you know maths, you know this is one of the edges that it sends. <laughs> The triggers that it sends out. Uh, so when this function completes, it sends a trigger. That trigger is going into one of the inputs on, on the Logica, which is doing an AND comparison on them. So, um, and the other output of the Maths Channel 4 is 
going into the voltage processor. The voltage processor is also taking external claw or taking um, the sample and hold output, uh, mixing them together, sending them through a uh, the lag uh, thingy here, lag generator, which is then going into the deja vu. So what that gives you is it gives you a a controllable randomness over deja vu. So I'm not going to go into how marbles works so that you can you either know or you can get the manual, but uh, moving deja vu around introduces randomness into both the rhythm and the melody. So, and it's under control here, uh, randomized control. So basically how quickly it changes is the lag time and the depth of that change is perhaps not under my control. Actually, I don't believe I put any control on the depth of that um, change. So depth being how far this swings, but in a way lag is going to control that because lag is going to slow down how quickly it changes. So it won't get it get to as it won't get as far as it can before there's a change from the from the uh, from this control voltage and it'll start swinging back the other way or swinging further or whatever. Uh, anyway. Where am I? So that's some of the feedback that is generated here so that uh, Marbles moves from just sort of randomly sending stuff out and it's now in some way it's sort of controlling itself. It's almost self-patching through maths. So um, where am I going with that? So I'm trying to describe this from channel at a time from Marbles. Uh, there's so many different ways to come at describing how this works, but that will work. Uh, so channel two, trigger channel two of marbles is this blue guy and that's triggering uh, envelope two. It's essentially just triggering the um, envelope on the VCF of the neutron. So giving it some rhythmic um, pulsing. As you know, this is triggering, depending on the mode of marbles, I think I'm still learning marbles, but this I think triggers on every beat in the mode that it's in right now. The third trigger channel of marbles is coming into Logica. Now you remember that I said the end of uh, end of cycle on channel four of maths is being anded with the with the output the trigger channel output of marbles, and then the output of that is being sent to the gate um, here to trigger the Quadigy uh, envelopes one and two. Envelopes one and two are just controlling a VCA and the signal of the beads is being sent through that VCA. So basically this is giving me uh, an amplitude envelope and gate essentially uh, for the output of the beads and that's why you hear the sound of the beads breaking up. Now the sound of the beads is not just pulse, not just rhythmically being broken up by having an envelope. There's also CV control over the length of the or the delay time, sorry, decay time on the envelope. So the Y channel out of marbles, which is sending out essentially uh, just a series, a lot, it's a lot like a sample and hold, but in my case I've smoothed it, um, which you can do with marbles. It's coming in through CVA and it's affecting the, the uh, attack decay, the decay, <laughs> I'm trying to, so many things to remember, the decay time. So that you'll hear the output of the beads being chopped up into longer and shorter notes. Um, and that's being controlled randomly essentially by this signal here from, from beads. So not beads, marbles. What are we doing on the, on the melody side of marbles? Uh, this yellow guy is the melody that goes to the Behringer 2600, S simple as that. Uh, nothing special going on there. And the melody from this channel, uh, the Y channel, is it Y? Is it eh, this channel anyway? X, X2, I guess. I can't actually read it without my glasses. Um, oh wait, I have my glasses on. I still can't read it. Oh well. <laughs> um, these things are so tiny. Anyway, uh, so this is a melodic output. Oops, I just and it's uh, controlling the voltage of the second oscillator on the neutron. And the first oscillator of the neutron is just getting a continuous note from Ableton Live uh, through the poly end so that there's a drone 
and um, melodic pitch, but they're being gated together. So that gate, now you'll remember that we've got these two random, or these two sources that are coming into Logica and are being anded, and that's being sent through to the gate of the quadrigy. Well, the div two of that, the divide by two of that is being sent to the, uh, the amplitude gate envelope. Um, which is how the neutron is, is being triggered when it's doing its melody. So, there's something else going on here and I don't know what it is. Uh, <laughs> what's this? Oh, pitch. Um, hmm. Ask me how that works. How does that work? I don't bloody know. What am I doing with the pitch? I'm playing a melody on it. Oh. Do, 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 do. I remember what it is. The melody that's driving the 2600 is being split and is also driving beads, but it's going through a uh, lag processor, maths as a lag processor. So that's how you hear maths, um, or you hear beads doing portamento between notes. That's why it's doing portamento is because its melody is being passed through be through math. So math is doing those two jobs is doing portamento on this side. It's doing the generation of gate timing. Is that right? Oh, and also interestingly, some self patching on maths is to take the, uh, there's a name for that function, um, full wave unrectified, something like that out and to control both the rise and fall time of math, of the fourth channel of maths, which if you remember is both sending its end of cycle into Logica and its unrectified waveform to the voltage processor, which is controlling the deja vu. So take a deep breath. And what does that all mean? It means that marbles is doing its marbly job, but its marbles is through maths uh, modulating itself through deja vu. Uh, and marbles is, con is creating all of the melody and all of the rhythmic timing. Uh, that rhythmic timing is being modified through maths and quadrigy and logica. And it's driving three different voices um, to create three melodies that are not just all being lockstep with each other. They're all broken up differently. So, um, I hope that helps you and helps me too, because I'm going to come back to this in a week and not have the faintest idea what I did with it. Uh, cool. All right. Enjoy.